the former leader, uh, Mr. Hoya. Thank you. The chair would like to re uh, remind members that they need to uh, direct their remarks to the chair. <laughs> and the gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise to lament the failure today to consider a resolution which would reflect the overwhelming consensus in this House that capitalism, not socialism, has proven to be the very best economic system. It is the most effective system to create dynamic economies and incentivize individual innovation, entrepreneurship, and risk-taking to achieve economic security and success. Such a resolution would have brought us together. It would give confidence to our fellow citizens that we are united in our support of our democratic capitalist system. The resolution before us today, however, does not do that. Instead, it is an intellectually bankrupt screed of political demagoguery. All it aims to do is to divide, to distract. This institution and this country. It is a political gotcha and a distraction from the real issues that face the American people. As our departed colleague Elijah Cummings said, we're better than this. We just came from an annual prayer breakfast where we gave voice to reconciliation and unity. We prayed to one God and we recited our pledge to one nation under God in Divisible. This resolution Gentlemen, seeks time to divide. Expired. America expects more of us. This resolution does not, sadly, Mr. Speaker, further that goal. And I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Cal gentlewoman from California.